For your better understanding, I'm also including the previous part in this video. So let's start. This is a CD or DVD player transformer. And that's my 3D printed project base stand. Link to download this design has been provided in the description. You can check it out. Now comes the polarity finding for series connection of the transformer wires. For yellow it is 11.78. Now what we have to do is try connecting these two wires together. And here as you can see that the voltage has doubled. It has 23 volts. Next comes the third set. This one. Here as you can see that the voltage has reduced which means that this time the polarity is incorrect. So green will be connected to green. And here we have the maximum of 35.55 volts. Next comes the 35 amperes bridge rectifier and a nut bolt. Next, I'm also going to use this temperature insulation sheet to prevent heat transfer from the rectifier to the 3D printed base. Next, I will be using this 4.7 microfarad 250 volts electrolytic capacitor. After that comes your 250 volts 6 amperes diode which will be connected to the positive output terminal of the rectifier. Next is the indicator LED and its series resistors 1 kilo ohm each. Now before moving on any further let's test it. And as you can see the output voltage is very high and fluctuating which is useless if I want to charge a 12 volts battery. Therefore I will have to remove this capacitor and replace it with bigger ones from this circuit. And now it is time to make a 3-pole rotary switch.
Now guys, after completing the construction of the rotary switch, it is time to solder wires from the transformer and the rectifier to the switch tapping points. So guys, all the connections to the switch tapping points are complete. So let's test it. The supply is on. Let's turn the switch. So that's the first tapping and when I'm going to move on from this point to the middle one then the brightness should increase indicating higher voltage. So it is brighter than before. Now moving on to the last one which is the highest possible voltage from this transformer. More or less similar but yes there is a little difference. Now it is still on because the capacitors are storing the charge. So guys, the power supply is fully complete. Let's test it. For the light bulb 12 volts, I can only use the first tapping because the second and third tappings can fuse the bulb. Okay, light is glowing. I think the bulb is loose. Yeah, now it's fine. So here what we have is a 24 volts, two amperes printer servo motor. Let's turn it on. That's the first tapping. Moving on to the second one. You can see the speed just doubled the third. That's the full and final one. This is a universal PCB. These are two pieces of 250 volts, 10 microfarads capacitor. And that's a 20 amperes high current ferrite core inductor. Step one, take the first capacitor 10 microfarad and mount it as shown. Do the same thing with the second capacitor. Next, take your inductor and mount it in between the two capacitors as shown. Next, take your main power supply and remove the following components as shown. Next, take the circuit and the diode and connect it somewhat like this. Next, take a small wire and connect it to the positive terminal of the rectifier. After that comes your filter circuit. Next, take the red wire and connect it to the negative end of the diode. After that, the positive terminal of the rectifier will be connected to the positive end of the capacitor. Next, take another wire and connect it to the negative terminals of the rectifier and the filter circuit. Finally, the last component is a 5 kilo ohm resistor. 
which will be connected to the overall output of the circuit. Now that it's fully complete, let's test it. Pointing the meter to DC voltage measurement mode. Let's first do the ripple test. Here the switch is off. So turning on the supply. And you can see there is zero, almost zero reflected voltage. Next test, measuring the voltage output. So the first voltage is a perfect 14.2 volts for charging our batteries. Next one is just double of it, 28.84. And that's the last one, 44 volts DC output. And off. Third, DC motor testing. Motor 1, 24 volts, 150 watts. Ampere measurement. Next is a 40 volts. 2 amperes CNC spindle motor. Finally, it's our 220 volts trade mill motor. Let's see if it can run this. Now, the motor is running slowly even at full because the rated voltage for the motor is 220 volts, which is very high. And the final test is a 12 volts battery charging. Here, as you can see, that the battery is at 11.37 volts. It is fully discharged. So, let's start charging it, which will be indicated by the increase in voltage displayed on the multimeter screen. So, here, as you can see, that the voltage has increased from 11.5 volts to 13 volts. So, it is working. Therefore, let's finish off the video. See you in the next one. Stay connected. Bye-bye.